my goodness, look at this mess. Did you guys see what happened? Yeah. What, what happened? happened? Yeah. Minions. minions? What minions? I don't see any minions. <laughs> Recruit? Yes, sir. The tools and the toys are all mixed up. That's extremely dangerous. We need to make sure to separate our tools from our toys at all times. Now today is especially important because we have Chief coming later today and we need to make sure this place is spick and span. So why don't we do this? Why don't you guys go ahead and get that separated while I'm going to go have a second breakfast. That's exactly right. This is such a big mess, but we got to make sure and clean everything up. We got to separate our tools from our toys, right? Yeah. Tools go in our toolboxes, toys go in our toy boxes. Tools are for adults and toys are for kids, right? So if we can separate these out, that'll make sure that the fire station is nice and clean and nice and safe. So let's, let's do that. Does this look like a tool or a toy? A toy! So where do our toys go? In the toy box, right? And what about this? Is this a tool or a toy? A tool, that's right. And tools go in our toolbox. What about this one? A tool, right? So where did the tools go? That's right. And what about this? Tool or toy? That's right. And toys go in our, in our toys box. Well, thanks to our new friends, now we've got our tools separated from our toys. Now the station's nice and clean and it's nice and safe. I'm going to go put the, these tools with the rest of the tools in the garage. And I'm going to take these toys to my room. So we've got a pretty big fire station, so in order to get it ready for the chief's inspection, we got to start by checking all our smoke alarms. That's right. We have to test our smoke alarms once a month by pressing this test button. It's not working. What happened? Did you guys see what happened? Yeah! What happened? Yeah! Minions. Minions? Again? Again? Are you sure? Yeah! What did they do? <clears throat> Recruits, there has to be a battery in that smoke alarm for it to work. So go ahead and put one in. Batteries. Perfect. <clears throat> now just like they were saying, you need to make sure to test your smoke alarms once a month by pressing that big red button like that. Perfect. If you hear that noise, that means it's working correctly. Now. Remember, too, that smoke alarms are all up really high because smoke rises. So you might have to get a parent or something like that to go home and test that for you tonight. Now, those batteries, they need to be changed twice a year. When you change your battery or change your clocks, you need to change your batteries. So go ahead and ask your parents because that's coming up pretty soon. Now, these smoke alarms, too, are only good for 10 years. So after 10 years, they expire and you have to get a new one. So go home tonight, have your parents press that button and test that. When they do, tell them to look at the date, too, and remember, 10 years they expire. Now, I'm going to grab a little bit of a snack, but you guys uh, keep doing your thing. Snack again? Always. So, it's really important for us to test our smoke alarms once a month because we got to make sure they're working. You all heard that really loud sound, right? Yeah. We're going to have to remember that sound because some night you could be sleeping and you could hear it. It could be really scary. But it's just your smoke alarm letting you know that there might be smoke or fire in a house. So it's okay. So that if 
Do you hear it at night? You go grab your parents and get out of the house, right? Yeah. That's right. We have to test our smoke alarms once a month. How many times do we test our smoke alarms? Yeah. You guys are really smart. First try. That's right. So we have to test them once a month and we have to change our batteries twice a year. When we change our battery, when we change our clock, we have to remember to change our batteries. Okay, so we change our batteries twice a year. You guys ready? We change our batteries how many times? Twice a year. Twice a year. That is right. And it is super important that we replace these smoke alarms every 10 years because we want to make sure they're always working. Okay, so we replace our smoke alarms every... Oh, I didn't hear you. We replace our smoke alarm every... Oh, there That's it is. Right. That's right. Okay, do you guys remember all the numbers I gave you? Yeah. All right, we test our smoke alarms. <laughs> oh, we test our smoke alarms <laughs> once a month. That's right. And we change our batteries twice a year. That's right. And then we're going to replace our smoke alarms every 10 years. That's right. Great job, you guys. We've got some smart friends. We do. We really do. So now that we know that this smoke alarm is working, we got to go check the rest of the fire station, okay? okay. All right. Oh my gosh, it sounded like there was an emergency. What happened? Did you guys hear sirens? Yeah. Did you guys see anything? Yeah. Minions again. Minions again? Where? In the fire station? I don't see any minions. Well, I don't know about any minions. I don't know about any minions, but I'll tell you, it sounded like there was an emergency. Do you guys know what to do in case there is an emergency? Do you guys know what number to call in case there's an emergency? Okay, one more time, everybody together. Oh, that's right, you call 911 if you want to report an emergency. Sounds like you guys know what you're doing, but I think we should double check and ask the expert. Oh, dispatcher Daisy! Oh, hey, everybody. Everyone say hi, dispatcher Daisy. Hi, dispatcher Daisy. Hey. How's it going, Bunker? It's going really well, Dispatcher Daisy. We're here with our new friends learning about what to do in case of an emergency. Oh, well, I can help you with that. Would you guys like to practice calling 911? Yeah! Great. First, we're going to need to get a pretend phone. I have one of those in the fire truck. Okay. Oh. Dispatcher Daisy, will this pretend phone work? Oh, that's great. Okay, everybody, so remember, if there's an emergency, we need to stay calm. Then we're going to dial the 9, then the 1, and then the 1 again. And remember, if you have a cell phone, you need to push the green button or hit send. Now, we're going to wait for the dispatcher to answer, and we're going to tell them why we're calling and where we need the help. And that's why it's so important for everybody here to learn your address. Well, Dispatcher Daisy, now that we know how to dial 911, when do we dial 911? Well, you know, I have a song about when to call 911. Would you guys like to learn it? Yeah! That sounds like a lot of fun. Could I play along with you? Sure. Do you know this one? Yeah, I think I do. Hang on. Ready, Dispatcher Daisy! If you see a house on fire, call 911. If you see a house on fire, call 911. If you see smoke or flames and as loud you want to say, if you see a house on fire, call 911. If you need a paramedic, call 911. If you need a paramedic, call 911. If someone calls and hurts their back or maybe having a heart attack, if you need Hold the phone up to your ear. 
love that song. Thanks, Dispatcher Daisy. Wow, you're really good. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go get ready for lunch, OK? Everyone say bye, Dispatcher Daisy. Bye, bye Dispatcher Daisy. Bye. So now that we have some practice dialing 911, we kind of have a good idea on when to call 911. So let me ask all you smart kids a question. If I lose my homework, is that an emergency? If I get in trouble and I get grounded, is that an emergency? No, it's not. If I see a car accident, is that an emergency? What about if you see some house on fire? That's definitely an emergency. So it's really important to know what's an emergency. And I think you guys are smart enough to figure that out by now, right? Good. Well, it looks like we've got some smart friends. That, all that singing made me hungry. I think we should go have some lunch. Let's go get some lunch. That was the best lunch I ever had. Tell me about it. Those grilled cheese sandwiches you made are by far the best I've had. What? What do you say? Oh my gosh! Matches! We're not supposed to play with those! How did they get here? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Recruits, these are extremely dangerous. Matches are not something you play with. Remember our tools and toys? This is definitely a tool, not a toy. Now, these are so dangerous because you can catch something on fire or catch your clothes on fire. And if that happens, you need to make sure to stop, drop to the ground, cover your face with your hands, and roll around. Why don't you guys think of a song for that? And uh, I'm going to go put this in a safe spot or give it to a parent or a doll. Maybe get some lunch after. Song? I think we already know a song. We might need some help, though. Yeah, I think so. Are you guys ready to learn this song? Yeah. OK, I'm going to need you to pay close attention, OK? So in case our clothes catch fire, which we hope never happens, because if we ever find a lighter or matches, we have to give them to a grown-up, right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Right? Yeah! There it is. Oh my goodness. I thought you guys left. So in case our clothes catch fire, we have to remember to stop running, drop to the ground, cover our face, and roll around until the fire is out. So to all my new friends, let me tell you a story about a time my pants went up in flaming glory. I started to run, but the fire got worse. I knew I had to stop and do this little verse. You gotta stop. Stop. You gotta drop. Drop. You gotta cover. Cover. Cover your face and, and roll, roll around. around. And you don't stop. Stop. All the rolling around until you're sure that the fire is out. And you're safe and sound. You think you guys can handle that? Yeah. All right, so we remember the four moves, right? Stop. All right, I'm gonna need you to do it with me. Ready? Stop. Drop. Cover. And roll. So this job. time when we sing the song, when I say you gotta stop, you're gonna repeat stop. Okay? And when I say you gotta drop, you repeat drop. You gotta cover, you repeat cover. And when I say you and roll around. That's right, alright. So to all my new friends, let me tell you a story about a time my pants went up in flaming glory. I started to run, but the fire got worse. Oh, I knew I had to stop and do this little verse. You gotta stop. Stop. You gotta drop. Drop. You gotta cover. Cover. Cover your face and, and roll, roll around. around. And you don't stop. Stop. All the rolling around until you're sure that the fire is out. And you're safe and sound. Sounds like you guys got the hang of this pretty quickly. Does anyone want to come help us? We need four volunteers, four new friends. Hmm. Go. Looks like we're all set up to keep practicing. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. All right, friends, are you ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so in case our clothes catch fire, we have to remember to stop, oh, there you go. rock, cover, and roll. And roll. There you go. All right. You guys ready? You think you can go faster? 
We do faster. Do you think they can go faster? I think so too. All right, we've got to stop. Stop. Drop. Drop. Cover. Cover. And roll. And jump. Faster. Stop. Stop. Drop. Drop. Cover. Cover. Roll. Woo! Stop. Stop. Drop. Drop. Cover. Cover. Roll. Ah! Uh, stop. Stop. Drop. Drop. Cover. Cover. And roll. Oh my gosh! Great job, you guys. Good job, you guys. You guys are Let's get a round of applause for our friends. Thank you so much. Friends, you guys. So it is very important to remember those four moves in case your flows catch fire. All right, it can be very scary, but if you remember today, you're gonna remember to stay calm, you're gonna stop running, drop to the ground, cover your face, and then roll around until that fire is out. Exactly right. I think you guys did a great job. <clears throat> that was pretty good, you guys learned something? All right, so uh, I think a chief's just about to be here. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, what's going on? The chief? The chief's here right now? Oh man. <clears throat> All right, well, you guys gotta get back there. You guys weren't kidding. There really are minions in fire stations, huh? Good morning, Chief Bodie. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, we're doing great, Chief. I think uh, the recruits here have learned a lot and taught as well, and I think we're ready for our station inspection. All right. Well, my inspection is going to be to find out if all of our new friends learned anything. So, friends, did you learn anything? Yeah! Are they still in here? I didn't even hear anything. Are you? Did you learn anything? Yeah! All right. So, recruits, I need to let... I need you to let me know, what did you do today? Well, Chief, we started our day by separating our tools from our toys. We know that tools are for adults and toys are for kids. So we put our tools in our toolbox, our toys in our toy box. We learned that if we find any tools, give them to an adult, a parent, or a teacher. Very good. That's right. We learned also that we have to test our smoke alarms once a month by pressing the test button. And we have to change our battery twice a year. When we change our clock, we change our battery. And we also learned that every 10 years, the smoke alarms need to be replaced. Oh, that's exactly right. <laughs> then after that, Chief, Dispatcher Daisy came by and helped us and our new friends learn what to do in case of an emergency. We now know, dial 911, 911, then send or the green button on cell phones. We gotta speak very clearly into the, the phone, know where we are so we can tell the dispatcher where we are and what we need. Wow, that is great. Good job. That's right. We also learned what to do in case our clothes catch fire. What? My clothes are on fire? Oh, no, no, Chief. No one's clothes caught fire. Now we just know what to do if they catch fire. That's right. We learned that if our clothes catch fire, we have to... ...and roll around till the fire is out. Wow, that is really good. You guys did a great job. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this station for inspection today. Great All job. All right. Well, thanks, Chief. Thanks for uh, coming by. We always appreciate it. All right. Well, you take care. Bye. Ever say bye, Chief. Bye, bye Chief. Bye. All right. Well, great work, guys. We passed our inspection. Good to go. Why don't you guys get ready for another great day tomorrow? Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, well, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys will be extra safe and extra smart. We're all done today, so you guys take care and be safe. See you next year. Bye.